Hi everyone, I'm Melanie from Adventures in Grocery Land. And this week, please join me in my $50 grocery shop. Um, I am normally around $21 per person per week, um, but with everything that's going on in the world, I have increased my budget slightly um, just to be able to increase some of my stockpile. So this week we did a $50 shop and check out what we were able to buy. Check out my $50 shop. Speaking to increasing um, my stockpile or just, um, I guess, buffing it up a little bit, I purchased a 12 case of Kraft Dinner. Um, it was on for $9.98 at Giant Tiger. I also got asparagus. This is an amazing amount of asparagus um, for $1.98. They were selling very, very quickly and I got one. I wasn't planning on getting orange juice, uh, but when we went in, they had this orange juice, not from concentrate and no pulp on for $1.25, so I got one. I also shopped at Walmart. I got a package of rainbow peppers, um, three pack for $2.49. And I actually picked a fairly large pack. Um, lots of them were this size, but there were a few where the peppers were a bit smaller. So I made sure that I picked one of the largest ones I could find. And I also got a package of mushrooms uh, for $2.49. I also shopped at Avery's, which is a local um, produce market. I got romaine lettuce for $2.99. I got a dozen oranges for $2.88. And I got bananas for $1.46. I also shopped at uh, Atlantic Superstore. And again, this is speaking to increasing my um, stockpile, increasing my pantry supplies. They had ground beef on sale this week. It wasn't lean. Uh, but it was medium. So if you're unsure on um, what the difference is, it starts at regular and then medium and then lean and then extra lean. So I got medium ground beef on for $3.49 a pound and I was able to get two packs, uh, $6.15 and $6.49. So I am going to package these up. I'm going to make some hamburgers. I am going to um, separate some just for casseroles and freeze them. I also got some taco shells on 50% off. So blue corn taco shells, never had them before and they piqued my interest and they were also 50% off, so $2. I got wraps. Uh, these were on clearance, 50% um, off and I got them for $2.45 and I liked the chili lime flavor, so that's exciting. I got two packs of cold cuts. Um, we were in Giant Tiger and they actually had variety packs on for $3.49 um, and I had the other half with me and I said, no, we're going to hold out because those variety packs were uh, 175 grams for $3.49 and I knew that just the regular price of the Main Street Deli variety at Atlantic Superstore was $3 and each of the packs has 250 grams, so it's a better buy. And this was, I think, my steal of the day. Um, this was on for $2.99, no. Whatever it was, the half price, the 50% off, was $1.65. And then I had a coupon uh, for a dollar off. So I got this cream cheese spread for 65 cents. So that was pretty exciting. Uh, I also shopped at Sobeys and I used Sobe Fast Fuel coupons and I just got this spinach. It was um, $1.99, but I got it totally free. So this is what a $50 shop looked like. Um, lots of my items were half price items. There are lots of fruit, um, veggies, and I'm going to eat. So a lot of this stuff together, you think like, what meals are you going to make? Um, well, we are going to make meals with some of these items, but also with items that I already have in my house. So just like when you guys shop, you've got things in your pantry, you've got things in your cupboard. Um, I always shop the sales and then I make my meals out of the combos that I, I get and with what I already have. 
I totally forgot to add the fries in that I got at Giant Tiger. That's what happens when you grocery shop, you bring your items home and some of them need to go in the freezer. You forget. So my total shop at Giant Tiger was $14.98. Walmart total was $4.98. Avery's total was $7.29. Superstore total was $23.74. And my grand total was $50.99. So 99 cents over my $50 budget. I'm gonna do a little demonstration about the costs from buying convenience, pre-made foods and making your own. Medium ground beef was on sale this week for $3.49. Giant Tiger carries pre-made beef burgers um, for $11.97 and this week they were on sale for $7.97. Walmart carries um, pre-made beef burgers and they are regular $11.97. Now this box says cheese on them. They are $12.97, um, but I have borrowed these. So that is what the person bought. They bought cheeseburgers. So for my little demonstration, um, the, the box weight is still the same. It's 904 grams. Uh, in the regular beef burgers, there are eight burgers, each of them 113 grams. So those are four ounce patties. So $11.97 at Walmart, regular price at Giant Tiger, $11.97, this week on sale for $7.97. Now, what would it cost if I bought those quantities of meat on sale this week? So if I bought 904 grams of medium ground, no, sorry, yeah, medium ground beef, um, on the sale price this week, it would have cost $6.95. Big difference. If I bought 852 grams of medium ground beef that was on sale this week, uh, it would cost me $6.55. Big difference of the regular price, and it's still a difference of the sale price. I mean, when you're thinking about your time, $1.50 can buy an entire meal ingredient. Um, it could buy a, a package of pasta. It could buy, um, in my case, um, it was almost enough money to buy the, um, oh, what are those things called? That is terrible. Asparagus. So the asparagus was approximately um, just a, a few cents more than that. So when you think about what is it worth? Is it worth your convenience? So your time, or is it worth your money? Those are the decisions that you need to make when you are looking really, really hard at your budget. So in this container here, I have weighed out, and so this is my little scale, I use it all the time. I've weighed out 852 grams so that we can see what it would look like if I was making the same quantity that was in the Giant Tiger box of burgers. I am going to put in it um, a little bit of oatmeal. Nothing that I would say is a huge amount out of my pantry supplies. And I have a little bit of spices and I have one egg. I am not going to be making five ounce burgers. Um, we are very content with three to three and a half ounce burgers. So I'm probably gonna make three, between three and three and a half. They'll probably be three and a half ounce. And realistically, when you're thinking about it, um, do you really need a five ounce burger or would you rather have more burgers to have perhaps um, another meal out of it? So let's get started. I carefully weighed out 3.5 ounce um, sections or, or quantities that are going to turn into the burgers. That's 99 grams. There are nine there. There is a teeny bit left in my bowl and that's fine. I'm going to leave that there because I am going to use some from the second package of ground beef that I bought to make a few more burgers. Um, I have a half of an egg left. I have lots of the um, oatmeal left and I will need to get a little bit more spices. The first batch is complete. I used this hamburger press to make the little balls that I had compiled that were 3.5 ounces into patties. And I have nine patties. You can see that I just have them here layered um, in between some wax paper. Keep them separate when they freeze. And you can see here 
the body the potties are pretty decent sized even for let me get one of these quickly even for a 3.5 ounce patty as composed as opposed to the five um, that were in the giant tiger box that's a decent sized burger i have the second um package of burger mixed up um, i decided i'm going to do the whole thing in burgers I do already have some ground beef packaged in the freezer, so this will be great. We love eating burgers, and it's March, and I'm dreaming of nicer weather and barbecue weather, and so I want to get some of these prepared. So I got 17 burgers that are 3.5 ounces. Uh, I would have had closer to 22 burgers if I would have decided to go with 3-ounce burgers, so that's always a thought for next time. Uh, I know exactly what are in the burgers. There are no preservatives. Um, there's no chemicals. There are no fake um, flavorings, no additives. And I, I did take a look at the ingredients. These are the ones here from Giant Tiger. And I was pleasantly surprised to see Angus beef water, toasted wheat crumbs, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and spice. Um, those are all ingredients that, that you know and you know the names of and doesn't sound weird. Um, Walmart, not so great. Uh, beef, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, um, water seasoning, so toasted wheat crumbs, um, salt, flavor, so flavor, what's the flavor? Sugar, modified cornstarch, molasses, maltodextrin, um, spice, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then up in here, when we were talking about the pasteurized milk and modified milk ingredients, um, bacterial culture, salt, calcium chloride, microbial enzyme, colors, cellulose, and niamycin. So this had in it beef, egg, and you certainly don't need to put the egg. Oatmeal, again, you certainly don't need to put the oatmeal and some spices that I had. So I don't know. One of the reasons that I started um, making my own food years ago was so that I could know exactly, exactly what was in it. Anyways, we did really well. When you consider that for approximately $12.50, so those two packages of ground beef together, um, so little more than what the Giant Tiger uh, would have been on regular price, and same with the Walmart, a little bit more than um, the Walmart regular price. Instead of eight burgers or six burgers, now granted their burgers were different sizes, I am getting six, 12, 17 burgers. Yeah, pretty happy with that. There wasn't quite enough uh, ground beef left over for one final burger, um, so I am frying it up. We are going to be having pizza one night this week, and now we will have ground beef to go on the pizza. Yay! So I know I mentioned earlier that I'm mostly going to be shopping for myself for groceries um, for meals this week. So when you take a look at what my loose plan is, pizza, um, we need mushrooms and cold cuts. And so you notice that I, I got them this week on in my groceries. Um, tacos, we need lettuce, and I ended up getting that in my groceries as well. Chili, um, and chili is one of those things that just kind of lasts longer than everything else. So chili we're going to have for two nights, and we have all the ingredients on hand. I actually didn't need to buy anything. Um, we are going to have chicken, veggies, and either rice or potatoes, and we have all of the ingredients on hand pancakes one night we have all of the ingredients on hand and if we don't have enough leftover that we can have leftovers on the last night um, I'm actually going to make a roast with veggies and potatoes we have all of the ingredients for that and that can last into the next week with some leftovers for meals and possibly some lunches and talking about lunches um after we make the chicken meal, and those are not listed in the order that we're going to eat them, um, I'm much more loose about which order they're going to be in. Tacos, of course, are going to be on Tuesday, um, but other than that, I'm open just kind of whatever, whatever hits my fancy on that day. Um, but after we make the chicken, I am going to combine whatever that we have left over, the bones, the skins, whatever, with some scraps that I already have in the freezer, and I am going to make a soup um, to have for some lunches. Uh, I'm also hoping that we're going to have some leftovers for some of those meals for lunches and we are going to have some wraps for lunches 
Um, and we needed cold cuts and lettuce, but those are also ingredients that we needed for other meals that we're having. And so I absolutely got those um, in the groceries. So you can see that when you shop from yourself, you're you're buying the things on sale to put in your cupboard and to put in your freezer. And then when you're going to make your meal plan, um, you're shopping from the things that you've already purchased on sale and just filling in those few little bits of ingredients that you need to complete the meal. And when you're buying your groceries, you are replenishing items in your pantry and your freezer. And that I find is the most frugal way, um, the frugal way to shop. Thanks everyone for watching this week's video. Um, again, I am Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. And prices have been steadily increasing, not just grocery prices, but gas prices um, as well. So that means everybody is even more and more aware of how they're spending their money and what they're spending it on. So I thought that uh, doing a little comparison of convenience um, burgers as opposed to making them yourself uh, might be very illuminating. And you can apply those same principles to pretty much anything that you're buying that is a convenience food. Um, thanks, and thanks for watching. And if you like the video, I hope you hit the subscribe button.